hey guys what's up welcome back to my tent so if you are new here make sure to subscribe today we are going to learn about the lymphatics of the posterior abdominal wall so we have lymphatics as well as lymph nodes of the posterior abdominal wall we are going to discuss about them each one of them so lymphatics what is lymphatics the lymph vessels which drain the posterior abdominal wall and also most of the abdominal pelvic organs except some part of the liver they will drain into cisterna chylae and thoracic duct they will mainly drain into cisterna chylae and thoracic finally draining into the thoracic duct which is the major lymphatic duct so the lymphatics are the lymph vessels which drain from the posterior abdominal wall and also the abdominal pelvic regions they will drain into the cisterna chylae and into the thoracic duct and these lymphatic stream they are intercepted by a series of lymph nodes and before reaching the cisterna chylae and the thoracic duct they will reach a series of lymph nodes so a small introduction about cisterna chylae it is a elongated white lymphatic sac and uh, it is up to 5 to 7 centimeters in length it's an elongated and also a white lymphatic sac and uh, the, what is the width it is 4 mm in width and it lies in front of l1 and l2 vertebra it lies in front of l1 and l2 vertebra between the areota and the azygous vein it is also hidden by the right crest of the diaphragm so superiorly it will continue as the thoracic duct and what are the tributaries of the cisterna chylae so the cisterna chylae will follow uh, will take tributaries from the right and the left intestinal lymph nodes right and left intestinal lymph trunks intestinal lymph trunks and also it will follow a tributary from the right and the left lumbar lymph trunks right and the left lumbar lymph trunks and also it will follow the pair of lymph vessels which drain from the lower intercostal lymph nodes the third tributary is the lower intercostal lymph nodes so what are the tributaries of the cisterna chyla we have the right and the left intestinal lymph trunks we also have the right and the left lumbar lymph trunks and also lower intercostal lymph nodes these all three will finally drain into the cisterna chyla so coming to the lymph nodes what are the lymph nodes we have lymph nodes so so these lymph nodes they are located along the uh, external iliac arteries the common iliac arteries and also the abdominal aorta so accordingly these lymph nodes are termed as external iliac nodes common iliac nodes and the aortic nodes firstly we will be learning about the external iliac nodes external iliac nodes so what about the external iliac nodes these are around 8 to 10 in number 8 to 10 in number and they lie along the external iliac vessels they are along the external iliac vessels the medial nodes will receive the lymph from the pelvic visor and the lower limb whereas the lateral nodes they receive the lymph from the territories of the inferior epigastric and also around the deep circumflex iliac vessels and also afferents from these nodes will pass into the common iliac nodes so they, we have a medial nodes as well as the lateral nodes of the external ili iliac medial ones is draining from the pelvic viscera and the lateral ones is draining from the inferior epigastric and the deep circumflex iliac vessels so that's about the external iliac nodes the second we have is the common iliac nodes common iliac nodes so what about the common iliac nodes these are four to six in number and they lie along the common iliac vessels and the lateral group of nodes will receive the lymph from the pelvis and the lower limb via external iliac nodes they receive from the pelvis and the lower limb that's about the common iliac nodes and finally we have the third one that is the aortic lymph nodes aortic lymph nodes and what about the aortic lymph nodes these lymph nodes are situated along the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava and these are divided into the pre aortic and para aortic lymph nodes pre aortic and the para aortic lymph nodes so What about the pre-aortic nodes? These nodes are located around the origin of the celiac, superior mesenteric and the inferior mesenteric arteries and also they are named accordingly as the celiac nodes, superior mesenteric nodes and the inferior mesenteric nodes. And what about the para-aortic nodes? They are situated on each side of the abdominal aorta and some of the nodes of this group they lie behind the aorta so they are called as retro-aortic nodes. 
and the parietic nodes are also called as lumbar nodes as well and they receive the lymph from the suprarenal glands the kidneys ureters testis as well as ovary and they also receive the lymph from most of the pelvic organs and lower extremities through the external iliac internal iliac common iliac and also other pelvic nodes so that was about the parietic nodes and preaortic nodes and common iliac nodes external iliac nodes and also about the cisterna cala and the thoracic tract so this is about the complete lymphatics and lymph nodes of the posterior abdominal wall so if you like the video make sure to subscribe and also share it among your friends thank you so much